Hello, you lovely and gorgeously handsome members of the internet. My name is James Gilmore, and I am playing the new Uncharted game. Oh my god, it's finally come out. We've waited so long. Doesn't it look different from what you were expecting? A PS4, the graphics are impressive, but you know, they've clearly gone a different way with it. Oh, but I'm still quite pleasantly surprised. Oh, I'm obviously joking. This is a mobile game. This is Uncharted Fortune Hunter, which is a brand new game that has come out uh, on iPhone, on iPad, possibly on Android as well. And it's quite good. Now, you would be within your rights to think that this was going to be absolutely dreadful, right? Because we have had an Uncharted-ish game before on mobile, back before PlayStation Mobile shut down and got replaced with something else, right? That game basically was an endless runner which saw Nathan Drake running along and trying to collect bottles of Coke Zero. You remember that? how that's integral to his character? Drinking Coke Zero in a forest? It was... Oh, amazing scenes. Uh, it was terrible, basically. Now they've come back with this free-to-play game that has accompanied the soon-to-be-released Uncharted 4, and they've gone a puzzly route. To be quite frank, they've gone a bit of a Lara Croft Go route with it, using a top-down, tile-based puzzle style. And it is quite good fun, and I am as surprised as you are, especially considering it's free-to-play. So, you take control of Mr. Drake here, you drag your finger around, you can see me moving here. He doesn't move until I lift my finger, that's how it works this time. I can shoot objects with, which are on these little flippy mirror twisty things, so if I tap this, pulls out the gun, pew! And here we go. What happens is, you can see how the thing I shot's got a triangle on it, yeah? Now, those two blocks which move now have a triangle symbol. It helps me keep track. You saw him writing down in his little notebook there. So it helps Nathan Drake remember, right, if I shoot this thing, these tiles move, the ones with the triangles on it. Likewise, you can see that one at the top right has a kind of diamond on it, and there are two diamond blocks below it. If I shoot it, them blocks will rise up. That's how that works. There's one down at the bottom here. What does this one do? Ooh, so that raises that one, and he draws a couple of circles on it. So you can see it all ties together. Now... As you can see, I can't shoot the, that one anymore. Because then that little pillar was in the way. Now I'm going to shoot that. Then I'm going to shoot this. I'm going to draw it over here. And I can run to the treasure at the end. Tap on it. And there we go. Sully's very happy with me. And I'm very happy with me too. That's kind of the size of it. So there are a bunch of different contraptions that you have to operate. You can shoot those things. There are buttons you can also press. There are these pillars that you have to avoid that fire darts. If I were to move in front of either go left or right right now, I would get very much shot in the face. So I'm not going to do that. Let me shoot this. See what happens. Okay, that's good because that means I can move over here and them darts, they can't hit me. And luckily, these ones don't move. You do encounter some towers, towers which move and that screws me. Right now, look, if I move now, see the tower at the top there? It's going to shoot me immediately. So let me see if I can block its path by shooting another one. Brilliant. I've now trapped it behind and dropped the tower out of existence. Now this thing at the top left, this is a button. I'm going to tap it. Okay, that has made the treasure appear and it's also removed one of those towers. That is generally good news. I still have to find my way back down. So I need to lower these two circle ones. If I shoot this, yes. I can now draw my way down here and grab the treasure. Beautiful work. The idea is to do it in as few moves as possible. Uh, if you do that, you can get things. There are gems. I'm not quite sure what they do yet. These red gemstone thingies which you can collect. Um, and there are also keys which you can collect which unlock crates which uh, have goodies and bits and bobs in them. Some stuff in this game will allow you to unlock things in Uncharted 4. This is a kind of crossover promotion thing, so you are able to get stuff to incentivize you to play this game as well as the mobile one. Yeah, sorry, the console one. And I am... Um, when I played it for the first time, I, like I'm sure you did, was going to assume it's going to be some tacky, nasty, free-to-play nonsense. It's going to be like Slashy Souls uh, or anything else that kind of accompanies these big scale AAA games and it's just a basic waste of time. This is surprisingly fun. It does crib from Lara Croft Go, I think, and obviously it's not as classy a production as that by any stretch of the imagination. And also, they've gone with this cartoon style and Drake, I don't know if you can see, if I push him just down a little bit, he looks like way buff. He looks like he's been at the gym 
on the protein shakes for ages. That is not how Nathan Drake looks. So they've taken some liberties with the character, but it's all in the aim of, you know, making it a little bit different, I guess. So let me see, if I press this button here, that'll drop that down. I should be able to run straight down here now and grab treasure. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. There are guides up on pocketgamer.co.uk if you want to have a look. We guide you through at least the first three entire chapters of this game. If you want to take a look and you get stuck, we'll be there to help you. Uh, I would recommend maybe giving it a look. It ain't too bad. I'm as surprised as you are. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time.